And there she is. That's Amy, Story of a Coram Family. That's my first book I published back in 2017. Um, that's the uh, only author copies I've got. I did. I got them for a bit of promo. And it was so big I had to split it up into three parts. So, yeah, but I just had that in the shop just to sort of, you know, <laughs> promo it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and this is the star of the show. This is the Bakelite 332L. Dates from about the early 60s, yeah. And I acquired this back in the 90s. Back in the mid-90s, we did a project going around converting people's phones, like plug and socket and push button phones, yeah. Okay, and uh, you can see there it says Ambassador. Well, that's South Pad. That's Padded Exchange, that is, yeah. And um, all... All, do all phone numbers had to have a free letter prefix and they couldn't clash with other exchanges in the country. So obviously, you know, PAD clashed with somewhere else. So they used to give exchanges all these odd names and, and Ambassador was what they called um, pad, yeah, South Pad. And yeah, so so if you look, if you look at like the A, it corresponds on the dial. So you have two and then you have the M, which is... Here, which is six and then you go back to the b which is also two so two six two would have been the number prefix for pad and it still is to this day yeah yeah i mean when my kids first saw this i mean they <laughs> they never saw i don't think they ever seen the dial phone before and you know my youngest son's got up to it and he's, he's he's going mom how do you press the numbers what do you press i was like no you don't press anything it's a dial phone you dial the number like this yeah and neither of them had, had ever seen the dial phone before you know and, and my oldest son was messing about with it and um he's going he's dialed the number and he went oh what do you do now and i was like, well i didn't have hands free in those days so i said you had to pick the receiver up like that put it to your ear and then you dialed your number you put the phone down when you finished making the call yeah and of course, going back in even further than that, they had manual operators in the exchange and you used to pick the phone up. And then the woman used to say, number please, like that. And you used to say, I'll have ambassador, one, two, three, four, whatever. Yeah, and this is the receiver, put, in the, you can put the receiver down like that, hang up, make another phone call. Yeah, that's it. That's how it worked, yeah. Right, the, what we used to wire it up with are these. These are... Block terminals or BT. I think this is a this is this is a BT twenty. Yeah, block terminal twenty, and you'd run your wire into there, and you'd have terminated your pair. And I think these were um, red, white was the pair. Yeah, and then if you had to run an extension, the green was a ringing wire. So extensions were wired up, uh, free wire. Yeah, there we go. That's what you wired it into. Okay, there we go. That's it. Yeah, that's the Bakelite 332L. And another thing I discovered when I was fiddling around was um, a secret drawer. Yeah, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about. Because uh, it's been sitting in a cupboard for God knows how long, over 20 years. And look, there's a little card there with Continental Service. Yeah, the dialing codes for Europe. There we go. Oh. And I see at the bottom there, USSR, Yugoslavia. Don't exist no more. Yeah. That's probably Czechoslovakia as well, because that, that was a thing back then. Yeah, look, Czechos Czech Czechoslovak Socialist Republic, yeah. Fantastic. And if you open it up, look at that. On a Majesty's Service, GPO. Important telephone calls to the continent. New dialing code 105. See at the bottom there it says April 1962, yeah. Yeah, well, we, we were part of the GPO back then. Uh, post office telephones were all sort of one big happy family, yeah. Uh, another thing I found was all different services, because they didn't have the internet in those days. All different services, speaking clock 123, dialer disk 160. I think anyone old, uh, younger than about 55 won't even remember what, what dollar disc was. 
And this is this guy who was originally had the phone. This this is his numbers that he wrote down. So it's a two six two number. It's a pad number. It's a company of fiber series. There you go. Yeah, and that's it. And he had that all tucked away in this little drawer here. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's the Bakelite 332L. Yeah, the star of the TikTok video. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it then. I'll put up all the, um, you know, links, everything uh, to my books. I'm available on Amazon. Just Google my name, Angie Norvey, author, and it will come up with uh, my Amazon page. It will come up with my books, my LinkedIn, everything, my Instagram, which I very rarely use. But anyway, yeah, uh, it doesn't have my Facebook page for some reason. I don't know. I don't know, really know why that's not happening. But yeah, just Google my name, Angie Norvey Author. I've got seven books I've published. They're in the historical fiction genre, apart from my last book I published, uh, Gas Street, which is a ghost story. But yeah, check it out. Check out my, my website, angienorvey.com. It's got all my books in there. Uh, I've got some uh, things about what inspired me to write the books and some of the research, some of the books I read in the research. Yeah, that's it. Okay.